Discovering your twin flame can be a challenging quest. During my journey, I encountered a person who I believed to be my other half, but was my false twin flame. Interestingly, I came to realize that the angels were providing me with signs through specific numbers as a warning. If you find yourself in a comparable circumstance, pay attention to the following 10 numbers associated with false twin flames that you should not overlook. The number 13 is often considered ominous, and while it may not always indicate a false twin flame, it's a sign to be cautious. If someone you've just met appears to be too good to be true, but has the number 13 associated with them in some way, it could be a significant warning sign to proceed with care. It could imply that the person is toxic, unstable, has many issues, or is even dangerous. Seeing the number 13 repeatedly may also suggest that you're overly focused on finding your twin flame and need to relax a little. When you see the number 111, which is generally regarded as a positive angel number, while actively seeking your twin flame, it may indicate the need to safeguard your thoughts and energy. This number might imply that you have harmful thoughts that are causing unnecessary stress in your life, or that you're overly fixated on finding your twin flame and need to divert your attention. Angel number 111 can also imply that you need to safeguard your energy since you're attracting people and situations that aren't good for you. When you see this number frequently, your angels may be advising you to protect your energy. However, interpreting this number is subjective, and it's crucial to understand what it signifies in your specific circumstance. If you're unsure, meditating on the issue or seeking help from your spirit guides may be beneficial. Angel numbers can guide your twin flame journey. One such number is 7316 which can indicate that you are too focused on the material world, particularly your supposed twin flame, who may not be the right person for you. This number suggests that you need to protect your thoughts and avoid attracting toxic people and situations into your life. If you are fixated on finding your twin flame, meditating on 7316 can help you shift your perspective and focus on yourself instead another number to pay attention to is 3266 which is associated with the idea of false illusion seeing this number about your twin flame journey may mean that you are putting too much pressure on yourself to find your other half quickly or forcing things to happen. This number can also be an invitation to reflect on whether you are true to your twin flame, or if you are telling yourself so out of desperation. Angel number 8528 can indicate that you are overly fixated on finding your twin flame, neglecting the present person you are with. This number is linked to the notion of false hope, implying that you may be putting too much emphasis on the outcome, rather than the journey. If you keep seeing this number, it could be a sign that you are experiencing undue stress and pressure. This applies to relationships as well, as it might imply that you are becoming too engrossed in your idealized version of your partner. Although it may be challenging, try to stay present and appreciate the journey rather than the destination. Angel number 2825 suggests that you should slow down and not rush into decisions, if you are actively searching for your twin flame, this number indicates that you may be too preoccupied with the outcome rather than the journey, and you need to take a step back and let things happen naturally. The meaning of this number became apparent to the author after they encountered a false twin flame, who wanted to commit quickly. However, after seeking advice and taking the time to understand the situation, they realized the importance of slowing down and being present at the moment. By doing so, they were able to see through the facade of their twin flame and avoid making a hasty decision. If you're actively seeking your twin flame and you come across the number 464, it may indicate that you need to balance out your life. Focusing solely on finding your other half could cause you to neglect other areas of your life. It's important to maintain a balanced life to ensure nothing gets overlooked.
When I saw angel number 464, I realized that I had been fixated on finding my twin flame. And it was taking a toll on my well-being. I learned to take a step back and focus on other aspects of my life, such as my career, family, and friends, to find true happiness. Seeing the angel number 4321 while searching for your twin flame may suggest that you are dwelling on negative thoughts and need to shift your focus to the positive. This number indicates that your mindset needs to change if you want to find your twin flame. If you're already in a relationship and keep encountering the number 4321, it could signify that you're concentrating too much on the negatives in your relationship. Focusing on negativity can attract more of it into your life. In my experience, my negative outlook attracted my false twin flame, which was a terrible situation. I had to change my focus from negativity to positivity to manifest my real twin flame. If you're searching for your soulmate and notice the appearance of angel number 4646, it could be a message indicating that you're being too superficial. Perhaps you're placing too much emphasis on external qualities and not enough on the person's true nature. Angel number 4646 may suggest that you're neglecting to focus on the inner values that are essential in determining whether someone is the right fit for you. Similarly, if you're in a relationship and this number repeatedly appears, it could signify that you're too preoccupied with superficial traits and not paying attention to the individual's genuine character. When you place too much emphasis on superficial qualities, you may unintentionally attract someone who is solely interested in their self-serving needs. In my experience, I fixated so much on his good looks and fashion sense that I failed to recognize his true personality and preferences. As a result, I ended up attracting someone who lacked depth and was far from being my real twin flame. To avoid a similar outcome, it's essential to prioritize internal qualities, such as personality over external factors like physical appearance, when searching for your soulmate.